What's good everyone, OJ here, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about that massive Pokemon Scarlet and Violet trailer that recently dropped and what shocked me about this game because there is a lot to discuss and also some little things that I want to point out with this game that actually makes it a pretty big step up from what we've seen from the previous Nintendo Switch Pokemon games, including Pokemon Legends Arceus, one of my favorite Pokemon games of all time. Before we get into that, please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're someone new, and click that notification bell to get my videos first. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into it, and we're starting off with the trailer and what they had to say here. Now, this independent study program called the Treasure Hunt, but I think the coolest thing about what they've done with this game, it's almost like it's three campaigns mixed into one on top of a whole huge area for you to go play and explore and have fun now one thing that i noticed that i feel definitely could be improved especially in future iterations of this style that he's had to go with it is that the graphics the graphics obviously are not terrible they are an improvement over pokemon legends in a lot of areas they're an improvement over pokemon sword and shield for sure definitely improvement over pokemon let's go series but still not quite up to where i feel the pokemon games could be but it's not as bad because they actually use a good art style it's simplistic but the character detail is pretty good the pokemon detail is not bad and there are some really good looking effects and things that happen just the environments and the geometry necessarily isn't the best especially coming off of a game like xenoblade chronicles 3 for example or other nintendo switch open-ended games but once again there are some improvements over the previous games now let's talk about this crystallizing or as they call it trilastalizing and i probably said that completely wrong so i'm just gonna call it crystallizing or becoming a crystal formation or something like that i tried to write it down multiple times trilastalizing so maybe that's it so it adds extra power we know about that i thought that was pretty cool not necessarily my thing but i think that it is going to add depth and surprises in competitive pokemon battles when you think that you have somebody with the typing that all of a sudden they crystallize and it completely changes the matchup changes the game good news is that there's some balance with that you can actually hit them long enough and they will break off of that crystallized form so you can kind of shatter that extra power they get in everything by hitting them hard enough so i like that seems like it's balanced right now but we're gonna have to wait and see what pokemon can do and how they can do it the cool thing is is that any pokemon can apparently have any crystallized form in terms of typing because it does change it so it's going to be interesting to see exactly how you manipulate that and how that works or if you want to collect extra pokemon in order to get that done so awesome there there's even these crystallized pokemon in the open world with the wild pokemon as well and i do like the fact that it looks pretty like graphically impressive too like when they do their moves and everything that's one thing that i was impressed about this game now one big new feature that i haven't really talked about too much on this channel that i think is a game changer especially for now and going forward is the new let's go auto command battle feature i think that this is going to be great because not only is it something to where it can make i would say like more of a quality of life feature built into the game but there's actually gameplay that is built around this so when you first go to team star for example you don't just fight them normally they have a bunch of pokemon that they're just throwing at you and throwing at you in waves and you actually have to beat 30 of them by throwing out all of your pokemon as well so it's not just something that's just done just for them to do it in the open world but there's actually gameplay stuff based and surrounded on that whole mechanic so I love that feature and adds a little bit more of a, I wouldn't say realistic edge to it, but just a different style to the typical Pokemon style of battles to where they've incorporated this quality of life that they probably thought was just going to be something that they just added in because it's a convenient thing, but then actually mixed in gameplay as well. So I do like that. Now, I like the whole three campaign thing. You have the three major stories that you can do. I think that is great for this style of open world, real open world game game where you can kind of tackle any one of these in any order that you want so that's awesome but i think another one of the major features that i absolutely love this is a game changing feature for many trainers out there and that's going to be the t 
ATM machine. The fact that you can actually go to Pokemon centers and create your own TMs. You collect these materials that Pokemon will drop when you catch them or when you defeat them in battle, and then you'll use those materials in order to make different TMs. So if you feel that you want to get this Icy Wind or get this other thing, you go catch those Pokemon, you collect those, and then you use them to make these TMs. So it's another way of handling TMs that I feel is better than what we've gotten before in the past. I know that they've changed it to where you can just find them out like in the open-ended areas and then you can use them multiple times when it comes to TMs. I know HMs used to be to where you can use it multiple times with HMs, but TMs you couldn't. They break after one use. They've switched it around quite a bit of times. They've made it sometimes to where, you know, HMs are kind of just moves that are already there or it's like an item and you can just use it multiple different times. I mean, there's different ways that they've done it, but I think that with the TMs here, this is a fantastic way of doing it and also encouraging exploration, catching different types of Pokemon and just really absorbing the world in order to make the type of TM that you want that can really turn the tides of battle competitively and in the game as well. So I think that is a really shocking and good feature in there. Now, next up, the Path of Legends, which is another one of the different campaigns that you can do where you fight this huge freaking crab you got to do massive damage to it for it to run away and everything but no i do like the fact that they have these different campaigns and you'll come across different things it seems like each campaign has like a different gimmick attached to it and it's going to be a different gameplay experience so that's why i said it's kind of like having three separate games kind of put into one but once again you can tackle those in any order that you want you know so that's awesome as well they showed off some link trading and all of that and i do like the whole link trades it looks cool when you trade with your friends or trade with other people so i like that and they showed off some new evolutions as well the one that i'm really excited about and i think a lot of people are is the giraffe evolution and i'm probably saying these names wrong but you can evolve it to farafagraph and i probably said that wrong i might have might have not whatever whatever the case is yo the giraffe pokemon looks lit he's got like that space kind of like helmet tail thing that he's got going on love that as well so it was really cool to see some new evolutions and everything from pokemon and just to see what they're doing in this game in the open world now victory road that is the other one of the campaigns which is more of the traditional experience that you expect from a pokemon game you have the pokemon gyms but they've included some of the stuff that you would see from like pokemon sun and moon with the trials and all of that or gym tests where you have to do some different things you know you're running around you're doing some stuff with pokemon and then you can actually challenge challenge the gym leader so i like that varied up the gameplay took some things from games that worked added in some other things and said all right we can kind of go with this now the character customization looks fantastic i know there was some i would say issues whether people felt that there was going to be in-depth character customization in this game but it seems like there's going to be there's a lot of different hairstyles ways that you can kind of uh position yourself in everything so i do like what they've done with that and i'm looking forward to seeing exactly the depth of everything that you can collect in this one and another interesting uh feature in this game is picnics i mean this is something that's kind of been in the games before right you've been able to like make food for your pokemon i mean i think it was like what diamond and pearl there was like the whole poffin stuff where you're stirring up different things so it's not a completely new feature and i'm pretty sure there was other pokemon games that i can't remember where you can kind of do stuff like this but the way that they've put it together in these picnics is something that's unique to pokemon scarlet and violet they've done similar things where you can kind of gather with your pokemon but this one is definitely a bit different because you can even make sandwiches in this place and the way that they're making these sandwiches and everything look like some gamecube sandwiches out there but no i mean it was better than looking like an n64 tree right with pokemon sword and shield so there's definitely a generational leap from that one to this one when it comes to certain stuff but yeah it was actually pretty cool to see this because if you do make these sandwiches and if they're really tasty or if they're good based on like the star rating it gets so you have like a chef rating here they actually give you extra benefits you know being able to get extra experience or make certain 
type of Pokemon easier to catch or help your performance. I mean, so I think it's a really cool way to get that type of stuff involved and kind of make it kind of tie back into the gameplay and everything. And we do have a confirmation now, which is another major thing here, which I'm always big about because I'm a former competitive player. I played like crazy when I was younger. I was really competitive with Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow. I used to go to the Pokemon League back in the old school Toys R Us, man, and go up there and try to fight people in the Pokemon League at my local Toys R Us back in the day. So I was super competitive. And then also when the online age happened in 2007, when Pokemon Diamond and Pearl came out, I was nuts about that game. I would just sit there and try to just really breed and really just make the best Pokemon and go online and fight people. So that was a lot of fun, especially with Pokemon Battle Revolution on the Wii. I would take it and kind of move the Pokemon over from my DS to the Wii in order to fight online there with better graphics and everything. So that was awesome as well. So I like the fact that you have breeding at these picnics. Sometimes you find eggs. So we'll see how in depth or what you can do to kind of manipulate that. So I do love that feature as well. And of course, we have another look at the Terra Raid battles. And I like this with the multiplayer. I thought that the battles that they put in with Sword and Shield were really good. And now I think that they and now I think that they've actually even improved them beyond that with the cheering to support your allies and get buffs even having healing and everything and now you're fighting these crystallized pokemon so overall when it comes to my full thoughts on everything here i think that there's a lot of really cool innovative features in this pokemon game and i think that when you look at it overall yes there was definitely criticism that you can level at the pokemon company at game freak nintendo whoever you want to level it at you know when it comes down to it when it comes to the previous games right when it comes to them trying to add in new features and trying on the graphics and things like that but if you look at the overall scope of what they're doing just total there is no other developer that's even willing to take the amount of money or investment risk to make a game like this in this competitive monster battling type of genre you're only going to have things you know like temtem and stuff that really it's cool and they try to listen and try to do a bunch of things but it's just not authentic it's just not up to where pokemon can get people to be you know and there's a lot of different games that try out there so i would love to see it you know but until then, right now, Pokemon is doing the best that they can within the time allotment. Like I said, I would like to see them improve upon graphics and other things as well. But right now, looking at all these different features, I don't think this was something that you can just rush through. The limited knowledge that I have on developing games, this seems like this stuff would be a nightmare to debug at times. Then also having to balance this type of stuff with hundreds of Pokemon, it seems very daunting and very scary. But somehow, some way, uh, game Game Freak is able to get it done most of the time. So once again, I'm really looking forward to this game. I do want to see what else they have in store for us when it comes to the online multiplayer in terms of taking a bigger look at that. I know that they've already talked about it a little bit and shown off people running in your areas and everything, but I'd like to see more of the benefits and more of what you get from doing that. Is there substantial buffs or potential different types of Pokemon, obviously some because of Scarlet and Violet, but what else is there? Going into somebody else's world and fighting alongside with them, completing different missions. What I'm hoping for is some really cool and true unique co-op that is available when you do online multiplayer. I mean, you can do it single player if you want, but if you have multiplayer, you can go through some type of challenge tower or other things like that post game, that would be really cool. So during the main game, yeah, you can call your friends in and everything, but you kind of beat everything you're yourself and then after that a bunch of other things kind of open up and you can invite your friends and they can add in new things on top of the terror battle so this is not just the terror battle because i know that's going to be a big thing but other co-op stuff that you can do as well on top of the cool terror battles that they do have so i'm hoping that there is some type of more of a campaign co-op more so than like a singular type of raid battle so let's see what they do there i think that this game has a lot of of potential to be easily one of the best Pokemon games released in the modern age at least so I think it's definitely going to be better than what we've gotten before when it comes to Pokemon Sword and Shield obviously that one Pokemon Let's Go I mean we'll see what Pokemon Legends Arceus but honestly comparing the features and what this game does Pokemon Scarlet and Violet compared to Pokemon Legends Arceus I don't really think there's any comparison because that game just does far less but the gameplay loop is good but I want them to kind of keep it separate because I think Pokemon Legends deserves to be its own single
single player major RPG, whereas this game is kind of a mismatch of having the perfect balance of cool single player stuff, but also innovative and seamless multiplayer kind of mixed into there as well. It would be hard to do both, right? So what do you guys think about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the brand new big trailer that we got? What other things do you think that they could introduce to spice up or mix up the formula? Are you excited for the game? I know I am. I was shocked with multiple different things that are in this game. Very impressive in my opinion. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're someone new. Click that notification bell. And we will see you for the next video. Peace.